morning fellow porcini hunters i'm here in one of my spots and um yeah i've picked more than i need um and in this wood it's very steep um and what you get is which seems so they come from the top and they just pour down the hillside so i've picked a couple of these seams um i'm just going to walk you through one of these, it's a typical seam, there are probably over a hundred of these in this wood. Um, I came here a bit late this year, uh, so there's a lot that have gone past. Um, there's also a lot of the secondary fungus, um, the leet, the leet eater, they call it. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to wander through the woods. This seam is about 20 foot wide, I guess, maybe 200 foot long. Uh, excuse the camera work because I don't have my gimbal with me and I am trying to watch where I walk as I film but uh, yeah you might just enjoy this because it is just a little bit of fun and it'll just show you how many um, Puccini there are this year I think everybody will agree this is one crazy season anyway off we go right. These are all the ones that have been mangled by the bullet eater. It's a whole load up there in the distance. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to adjust the exposure on here because it is a bit bright. It does look a bit better like that. There we are. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep wandering up. And well, I don't think you could even count the amount of puccini you're about to see. Um, I will sort of weave diagonally across just to give you the full width of this seam. Um, quite a few over there. I mean, pretty much everywhere you look, you'll see them. Um, but they do tend to follow these lines down the hill. Um, so when you find some, obviously, you just follow it down the hill. Um, there are some real beauties around as well. Um, I'm going to leave them for someone else. I've got quite enough to be getting on with. Um, there's a beauty. One thing with the weather being as it has been recently, the old slugs have had a feast. So, very, very few unblemished ones. But that's okay. We're not squeamish about slugs when we're in this game. So yeah, as you can see, it is pretty steep. Not a big crowd over there, you can see. Let's move over here. Um, yeah, and what I find as well, quite often, some woods have puccini that have got their own characteristics. What I find about this wood is that um, a lot of them have really unbelievably fat stems. There's a really nice one. Hopefully someone will get to that before the slugs. And another one there. Yeah. Here's another little grouping. They're yeah, just popping out of everywhere. A mixture of fresh ones and mangled ones. Slug eating ones. All sorts really. But these big guys, they've been out a bit long, so they're a bit yellow for me. That's probably gorgeous, that little one. Um, yeah, I think, let me just have a look. I think this is one of the ones with the ridiculously fat stems. He's a bit old, but actually no. But, uh, but yeah, he's very dry. I mean, you can cut the pores out of these, but this year, there's so many, I think. Just don't need to do that. Just gonna pick the very best. You see them all in there? Literally everywhere. Just go a little bit further if you've had enough. Um, let's 
seam may have run out by now, to be honest. Um, yeah, a few more here. All the classic slug bitten. Uh, a real lovely fresh one. Just over there. And with that, I'm going to say happy hunting. Catch you later.